Okay, so I have my uh, my Korg Nano Control hooked up to the computer, and to uh, to get it uh, to you start using MIDI pipe, you just uh, download MIDI pipe, and um, this is what comes up initially. You want to drag in MIDI in uh, a list, and then also uh, Apple Script trigger. And MIDI in, uh, right now I have the nano control selected, that's what we want. A list, what A list lets you do is lets you read the messages uh, that the MIDI device is sending to Apple Script or to, uh, to MIDI Pipe. And so uh, I'm just going to concentrate on this button right now. And uh, you can see that the data, this is going to be the message. And so you have 176, uh, the second value is 33, and um, the third value, if I push it on and hold it down, you have 127, I take it off, you have zero. And so uh, Apple Script trigger, so I'm going to delete this second thing. Uh, on Run Me, tell Application Finder if item 1 of message is... 176, item 2 of message is 33, and if item 3 of message is greater than 0, then say MIDI pipe. So I'm going to push the same button again. MIDI pipe. And uh, it, it uh, says MIDI pipe. Uh, one thing that's bad about, uh, or something that you have to kind of work around, is that if I push it three times fast in a row. MIDI pipe, MIDI pipe, MIDI pipe. It sends, one, it sends a message, but it's kind of lagging. Uh, so, like, I pushed, uh, I pushed those three... I pushed the button three times, like, within a second or so. And, but it takes a long time for, for it to say MIDI pipe again and again. So you can be done pressing it, and it'll still be processing those messages. And uh, so... Uh, because of that uh, lag time feature, the way I worked around it in, um, let's do, yeah, you can see that it's opening Photoshop. Uh, this is uh, this is one that I wrote uh, just a little while ago, and so. For the Apple Script, it's set up exactly the same except for the Apple Script trigger. It says uh, I have a global C val, which will uh, be for cyan, cyan value, and uh, I guess I don't need it to tell Apple application Photoshop to set C value. I think I could just set set C value without without putting it inside of this one, but. This will uh, just take item three of the message, and uh, because uh, because C and Y K, you need to have values between one and one hundred instead of one to uh, one hundred twenty-seven, which your MIDI device is sending. I just have uh, I just have it this, so this will convert it to uh, times it by one hundred, then divide by one twenty-seven. But Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So um, right now, uh, it just says set C val. So it just says uh, have this value, set this value, and then um, down here I have uh, if item one of uh, message is 176, item 2 of message is 45, and item 3 of message is 127. So I just have it set to a button. So um, so I didn't don't send that set cyan. I don't change the cyan color until I press that button. Um, so I'm sliding the slider and then um, I'll press the button and it'll change. And that kind of uh, kind of resolves some of the issues about the the lag time because if I slide it, if I have it set up so it sends a message 
for every time I slide it, it takes a long time to process because it reads a value, you know, 127 values and it takes a while for it to process. But now I can slide it, press that button and it lands where where that slider is. So slide it all the way down, press the button, and then it changes. Slide it, press the button, slide it halfway, press the button. So uh, that's a, a quick and easy way to get from uh, your Korg Nano Control into, into Photoshop.